All right, you guys. This is your Scorpio at the dark read. Yes, I said Scorpio at the dark. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on, okay? So, Scorpio, this reading will be for the end of February, Scorpio. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, the end of February. Okay, tell me what's going on for my Scorpios. The end of February. The end of February, okay? Oh, okay now. All right, Scorpio. So it's like, oh, all right, Scorpio. You're going to be pulling yourself together here, okay? That's what I'm showing. You're putting yourself back together here, all right? It's like you're going to be learning from past situations, past hardships, Scorpio, all right? So, look, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy that you're dealing with. All right, Scorpio. I'm also getting, Scorpio, it's just like something is not over here as well, okay? So let's let's clarify. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords reverse. Because when I'm showing Scorpio, what you thought was the ending is not an ending, baby. It, it's not something is not ending. <laughs> something is definitely ongoing, Scorpio. So tell me more about this Ten of Swords reverse. All right, Scorpio. So we got here teamwork. Okay. So there's something you're learning, you're studying here. All right. So it's you're cooperating with someone. Okay. That's what I'm showing here, you guys. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy that you're dealing with. I'm also showing Scorpio hard works pays off, okay? So the things that you do, Scorpio, now will pay off in the future, Scorpio. That's what I'm showing here. So tell me more about this. It's like you're going to be working things out with someone. That's what I'm showing, Scorpio. You working things out with this person. And I don't want to hear, oh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Okay, because it's not over. So the Ten of Swords talks about something is not being over here. All right, coming back together. That's what I'm showing, Scorpio. You're coming back together with someone. All right, Scorpio. I'm telling you, by March, Scorpio, you're going to be back with this person. <laughs> That's some, somebody that you're going to come back together with, Scorpio. And I'm telling you, it is not over. It's not over at all between you and this person that you're dealing with, Scorpio. I'm showing teamwork. <laughs> teamwork make the dream work, baby. Okay. It's like you're building. You're, you're going to be, you're still building with this person. All right. I'm also showing that. You still got to get to know someone much better, okay? That's what I'm showing. Like, you got to get to know this person on a deeper level. And Scorpio, this is the chance to do that, okay? That's what I'm showing with this Three of Pentacles energy, okay? Collaborating. All right, so the moon... It, it, Scorpio, the moon always show out in the debt for y'all, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Energy. The moon is always here. So what's up with you and this Pisces? Or what's up with you and this Cancer? What's up with you and this air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? What's up with you and this earth sign that you're dealing with, Scorpio? Uh, I don't need you on any other else, baby. You can't tell me this is not what I'm shown here. All right, so we want to clarify, okay? Because the moon just been popping out, Scorpio. Tell me more about this moon. Tell me more about this moon for Scorpio. Tell 
Tell me more about this moon. Ooh. Scorpio, watch out for the number one eight six six eight one. All right, so there, there's a choice, a major choice with this person. Yes, all right. It's more of Scorpio. You feeling like okay? Do I really want to come in union with this person? Do I really want to give this person chance after chance? Do I really want to give this person a try here with this lover? Some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini energy. Okay, do you really want to give this person romance, love, affection here? I'm showing a sexual connection. All right, Scorpio. Mm. So this person don't know that, you know, you're trying to figure out what to do. Okay, yes, the night of one. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. So what I'm showing here, you could also be dealing with a Sag. There's a Sagittarius here. All right, I'm showing Scorpio, you're going to be in a connection that started off as passionate. All right, this connection that you're in is going to start off as very passionate. And like I said, some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that you're dealing with, okay? So tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands for Scorpio. I don't wanna be. Do it at you, do it at you. Y'all got me singing Aaliyah, baby. So we got here the Nine of Pentacles reverse, okay? So Virgo, Virgo energy. Okay. Sagittarius energy here again, okay? And I'm showing the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy that you're dealing with. So it's showing Scorpio, you know if you come to this person fully, okay? And if you know, and you know if you come off, you know, to this person, it's like sexual, a sexual connection. It's just, you feel like, I'm telling you, Scorpio, if this connection you're in, started off as sexually, most likely it's going to continue to be that, okay? Because what I'm showing here, it's just like when you deal with someone, you date someone, all right, how they meet you, how they see you at that moment is how they feel about you. I'm, I'm telling you right now, okay? So when you meet people, they don't know you loyal, they don't know you caring, they don't know nothing, Okay? How they see you and how they feel up feel at that moment, at that present moment, at that time, is how they how they treat you. All right. So I'm showing like if you in a connection and they start off as sexually, most likely it's going to continue to be that unless that other person is stronger stronger enough to say, oh yeah, this is who I want to be with. This is who I want to spend the rest of my life with. You get what I'm saying? So if you, if this person came to you and they were just like ready for a connection, they was just ready for a relationship, that's how they're going to view you. All right? Sometimes, y'all. You know, because sometimes people can be ready and sometimes you just don't be the one. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm showing here, you guys. So make sure you don't start off this a connection as sexually. All right? Because... That's what I'm showing. How you met this person, that's what it's going to continue to be. All right? <laughs> that's how it's going to be. Yeah, so, 
Try not to be pushy towards this person because I'm showing like, Scorpio, you dealing with somebody. It's like you want to be coming back to this person with this person, but it's more of this person is, they're not ready, okay? They're not ready for a serious connection or anything like that, okay? And we have to hear the Knight of Pentacles, Scorpio. So this person is going to be very, very patient with you before they even offer you some sort of stability, it's definitely somebody's story, baby. I'm telling you like it is. So if you know you start off a connection as sexually, baby, you need to really sit and reflect on what this person truly wants, okay? And what you what you want to continue to get out of this person. All right. All right, Scorpio. This is the only thing I have for you. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.